Good morning, God's beautiful people. I have a word. Listen, God said, don't go back. He took me back to Judges chapter 3. And I know we've had this conversation before where the Israelites, they had disobeyed God by worshiping other gods and all that good stuff. And so the Lord was angry with them and decided not to drive out the rest of the Canaanites that were in their land. And it said that the Israelites were subject to Eglon, um, the king of Moab, for 18 years. The next verse said, and again they cried out. Go on to see that when they cried out that the Lord uh, raised up a deliverer, for the, a deliverer for the Israelites. And in verse number 19, we see that that deliverer, listen, don't get me trying to uh, pronounce his name. Name is spelled O-T-H-N-I-E-L, Othniel. Okay, all right. All right. Um, we see that this deliverer um, went and basically set the Israelites free, okay? And so when God says, don't go back, what he's saying is, look, he's getting ready to bring you out, okay? He is bringing you out. And don't be so used to this mindset of depravity and lack and 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 dependency and and just just don't be just don't maintain this slavery mindset that you go back into the very thing that god is getting ready to bring you out of or maybe god has brought you out maybe god has set you free listen what the lord say he said don't go back hallelujah thank you lord amen